Teamwork makes the dream work. Games versus championships. There's a quote that says, talent wins games, but teamwork, that wins championship. Let me say that again. Talent wins games, but teamwork, let me add in, and intelligence wins championships. There is a huge benefit to participating on a team. You know, sometimes we may not want to do that. We feel like we're that lone wolf or we're self-made, we're independent. We're our own man, we're our own woman. You know what I mean? We pull ourselves up by the, by the, by the bootstraps. We don't want to have to depend on anybody. It could be due to different insecurities. It could be due to childhood trauma. You know, um, we could have trust issues. At times I struggle with trust issues, you know, but teamwork makes the dream work. Talent wins games, but teamwork wins championships. So there are some benefits to participating in a team. Remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. So when we work with a team, there's one thing that we're gonna develop, our communication skills, because everybody is different. Everyone is unique. We all have our own way of, of interacting with other people. You know, we all have different skill sets. So when we all come together as a team and learn how to navigate that space, we all develop our communication skills. And because we have better communication, because we have these brilliant minds coming together, we also begin to, to improve our productivity. We also increase our innovation because we have people looking at the problem with different different visions, different um, perspectives. And because of that, we could have new protocols put in place that streamline a process. We could have new ideas generated because teamwork makes the, makes the dream work. We also, to be honest, do y'all ever feel stressed at work or stressed just in general? If you have a true team, you're gonna to begin to relieve that stress because instead of you pulling up your own bootstraps, being your own man, your own woman, you now have somebody to share the responsibility with. And of course, we know there will be rewards. And as I said before, we also allow just moments to grow because we have different perspectives. You have this person who maybe went to this school or experienced this in life, you know, um, has this type of training. And when we all come together, we could be looking at the same exact thing, but we may not see it the same. So we all have something that we could that we could add on. Um, I have a question. As I'm gonna say again, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. Have you ever tried running in water? Yeah, running in water, like in a pool when you were playing, you know, maybe a little kid, and let's race, and you're trying to run in water. If you try to run in water, that's going to it's gonna slow down your speed, right? You, because it, for you in that situation, as a human, it's going to give, um, resi there's gonna be resistance. The water is gonna, it's, it's gonna be almost like an air resistance or friction. But let me tell you this, um, sound, like sound, like you hear my voice, sound travels in a way, but let me tell you this, sound actually travels faster through water than it does through air. Why is that? Sound is, it's a wave that travels as a wave um, produced by vibrating particles, but sound is something known as an, um, a mechanical wave, meaning that it has to travel through something. Like if you all hear my voice right now, the sound wave is traveling through the air towards the speaker and coming out of your speaker into your into your ears. You know, so, so sound is a mechanical wave, meaning it has to travel through something Something. So because it has to travel through particles, it's almost like the, the more particles there are, it's, it's like the faster that energy, the faster that disturbance, the faster whatever is being produced is going to travel. So sound actually travels four times faster through, through water than it does air. Once again, and what is the difference? So, you know, environment plays a role if we were to compare air to water. Water is more dense, meaning there are more particles of water within a given, a given amount of space compared to air molecules in that same given amount of space. So because there's more particles, it's more dense. Think of this. Think if you just had a quick race, right? A sprint. 
and everybody almost ran at the same um, same pace. You have two tracks. One person, that lone wolf pulling yourself up by the bootstraps, you're gonna say, hey man, I can't, I, hey, I know I get it in. I know I'm ready for this track. I don't, I don't know what anybody else may do, but I'm ready. So ready, set, go, and you take off running by yourself. And you have to run around that entire track. But on the other track, there's four people and they train just as well as you. They run just as fast as you, but what happens is each person does not need to do an entire lap. One person runs a quarter, pass the baton. The next person runs, pass the baton. The next person, pass the baton, boom. They're already there, whereas you, you're trying to run your own race and you're gonna start off fast, but you're gonna get burned out. So that's the equivalent of air moving through, I'm sorry, that's the equivalent of sound traveling through air compared to water. Water is more dense. So it's more, it's, it's, it's more particles to collaborate. There's more members on its team. So sound actually travels four times faster through water than it does air. That means that more could be produced if we were referring to a team. So once again, talent wins games, but teamwork wins championships. Remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. Y'all have an amazing day.